here we are drawing a mutant snake man. A little bit of a dodgy intro there. I magically drew a line without putting the pen to paper there, but it was it was magic. It was. Um, we start off by drawing a shape. Um, usually that's the way of drawing these drawings. Um, start off by drawing a shape and as rough as we can in pencil, um, like the head and arms of the the creature and the body like a snake like creature as you can see there i'm just trying to work out the design of the creature just to see how it'll look really um, that's all you can see at this point um, we know it's going to be like a mutant uh, snake type creature so we want to have want to kill that body you know that snake sort of body up a bit more draw some more uh, random lines um, and the eyes of the the head at this point I haven't decided what the the head will, will properly totally look like that's why I draw it quite rough but it's um, it's best just to uh, plan it as best you can and and see how the drawing uh, develops through the quick sketch that you do so I've already decided one arm of this creature is going to be like a like a lobster type or a crab type pincer thing which you can see there um, standard standard mixing and matching of um, the elements of different creatures and stuff like that so yeah Wanted to make this fairly snake like, this creature, um, but almost like humanoid like, obviously with the arms and you know the head. Um, a mutant snake man, <laughs> that's basically what it is. Um, at this point, I haven't like sort of like formed uh, the arms properly, but it's, it's a, a sketching process which you can just. Uh, sort of like run along with and uh, hope for the best sort of thing um, but at this stage you can always change anything uh, before the inking stage so it's, it's entirely up to you how uh, you approach this um, I've, I was thinking for these videos uh, in the future I might do more examples drawing from different angles and things like that just try and uh, you know vary up what I'm trying to approach to draw these concepts and stuff um, because like no no drawing is always the same it's always uh, different and you might approach things in a different way uh, this is only like a guideline video I know it's like titled to how how to draw a mutant snake man but um, it's my way of drawing it basically so it's not always gonna fit uh, the way you draw or want to draw your creature so I think it's best if I start introducing some more examples maybe at the beginning and uh, more different sketches um, sort of compositions and things like that I think that might uh, go best for these uh, going forward in the future so as you can see now I'm trying to uh, sort the body out a bit more um, trying to Trying to define some of that uh, torso, um, just to I want to keep it like muscular, but not too muscular. I want it to be like um, a bit crusty looking, because <laughs> it is a mutant after all. So um, we can change things that way, I suppose. Um, obviously, when it gets to the inking stage, I want to try and add more, way more detail um, last minute decision I just decided to add um, like I don't know like legs or something uh, at first I was thinking wings but then I thought no nah, just keep them like these uh, like legs or like little pincer things I don't know what they are like um, like spider legs I think <laughs> just random I was going to do a few more legs trailing off in the back but I thought it'd it'd be a bit too much and uh, make it a bit more complicated um, than this drawing should be so 
I decided against that, so um, yeah, I think I think it's just best to you know keep them elements um, simple, simple-ish, um, or as simple as I could make the drawing anyway. So I'm just trying to um, just work out various things. I've, I've decided to put like it looks like teeth on there, but this. I think it's um, part of the pincers, I think, um, underneath. Um, make it like um, really strong looking pince, pincer arm, like mutant arm. Um, I think, yeah, in, in, the, in future videos, if I'm going to do a drawing like this, I'll probably do uh, some different examples and things like that. And, uh, really try and see and hopefully convey when you know what I'm actually drawing these that I could um, go in different ways with the drawing try and uh, draw some hopefully good ideas and just so sort of like cherry pick them ideas and um, include that in the final drawing um, I was thinking about like loads of like um, distorted or like uh, bloated um, shoulders or something, you know, which I've uh, I like to draw sometimes. Um, but I decided against that. I just thought I'd try and simplify this drawing. I mean, by the end of it, it doesn't look simple, but um, it's like a basic design um, that I was happy with. Even at this stage, I, I know it's going quite well, so I just continue with it. Just continue to flesh out certain areas like the hands. Well, the hand and that other claw thing. Try and work out what like uh, dark areas are going to feature on this drawing. That's why I've used uh, a 4B pencil in this because uh, it shows up a a little bit better than the HB so I can um, add darker sort of like pencil lines just to help me when it comes to inking. Here I am inking, I'm starting with the, the teeth. Um, just trying to draw them as best I can really. Um, this ink pen was a bit uh, I think there was something wrong with the nib, but it kept like um, moving a bit too much. Like uh, I think it cracked the the plastic. I think I've, I think I dropped it a few times, so it was a bit hard to wink. But I thought I'd use it anyway. Um, I don't like um, throwing away ink pens that I can still use, even if it's a bit harder to wink with. So at first I just like uh, ink all the main outlines, that's the best thing to do as far as a, a drawing goes. Um, you can change things as I like to say in these videos, um, but once you've laid the ink down, uh, the the structure of the the thing that you're drawing usually like remains the same unless um, Unless you can just add more shadow and uh, more white areas um, as you're going along, and you know you want to waste time doing that, or if if you're gonna do that, it's, it might be best to redraw it if you're not happy with it. But I'm sort of happy with this, um, particularly when it's when you start inking this, um, the drawing looks a lot more solid and I don't know you can you can just see I like the inking process better than anything else so it's even though I work quite quickly inking loads of random lines because I know some of them lines I'll, I'll just darken over and anything like that and So 
the uh, future videos will be me just um, trying to draw things from different angles and not really I'll draw like a final drawing like this one but I think it's best to approach the sketching process um, as I would do in my mind um, sort of deciding on different ideas and and maybe just showing you that um, how I come to uh, think of things visually on the page it might be a lot better to do that sort of thing and sometimes when you draw things different ways you can come up with different ideas and it can change the direction of the drawing that you're trying to do as well so it's it's useful to sketch uh, different ideas and thumbnails of, of your idea and your composition and, and stuff like that. I did have the idea of uh, the snake's body at the beginning um, to be more trailing behind the creature but I just had it like more coiled uh, just to, you know, to keep it simple. The good thing about these drawings is you can I can redraw this in in the future or add more to it in different ways. So it's it's still fun to draw these concepts anyway. I wonder if I try to do, I don't know how to do, like some time lapses in the future, but more of these real time ones, these videos. I think time lapses are useful, like they show like quick drawings, uh, even though the, the, this isn't quick, this, this will take about 38 minutes to draw. Um, Yeah, I like doing these real time ones, but they take a while to edit, so that's what I'm gonna. I'm still gonna try and do a lot more of these. I'm still, you know, inking the outlines there. And sometimes follow the, the pencil lines that I've done and just add more details in between. So underneath the body I'm going to be doing like a darker uh, incline, thicker inclines and stuff. Just to show some kind of weight to the creature. A lot of things with these um, drawing videos that I do. Um, I take out the sound in the background because there's a lot of other background noises and stuff. Um, I ain't got time to really edit them out or you know I don't really know how to separate the the audio and things like that so I just thought I'll just I'll just take the sound out now and uh, do these voiceovers um, but then I've got to <laughs> make sure there's no background noise on these and no like things in the background uh, even though there will be like uh, toilets flushing in the background or people shouting outside but yeah it's part and parcel of it doing this as you can see I'm just doing inclines and uh, trying to add more visual interest I'd say to the drawing that's something that I'd uh, never usually spend much time on uh, years ago when I started this channel I'd quickly do drawings and then that was it, but I think it's always best to go over a drawing sometimes, see what more you can add to it. Um, I'm constantly going back to drawings and just seeing if I can uh, add you know, more to it, even if it's just a, a black background or a grey colour wash with drawing ink or something like that, just to see if it'll add uh, something to it. Um, I always do a real good copy of 
any ink drawings that I do anyway so I could always uh, print it back out and you know sort of like do something different uh, with the ink drawing if I mess up or anything like that so here I am doing like the the thicker ink lines under the you know the uh, the lines underneath that there'll be more shadow it gives more weight to the you know creature or character there's a, a copic marker I, use, I always use the brush end of the marker I found that more uh, the, the better side of the marker to do really to use and you can add like darker you know bits of texture on this skin you know um, particularly when you start to cross hatch later on with the uh, gel ink pen that I'm using just find all the points that are you know going to be like underneath you know certain areas the top I usually leave like thin you know like uh, say like the top of the um, the snake's body there and uh, maybe some of the shoulders of them arms I'll leave like thin inclines just so the shadowed areas just stand out a little you know a little bit more when I'm drawing these creatures I always think um, about colour but sometimes doing them uh, for these videos it takes quite a bit longer so um, maybe for another day I think about the colour but the the shadow will, like suggest what what the colours usually could be sometimes and what so I'm always thinking about that that claw there um, it'd be like red lobster coloured but then when it comes to the arm where I'm inking up like the shoulder or the elbow it might be like a grey um, a pink to grey colour or something like that so I'm always thinking about different colours and stuff like that to add to these drawings um, it's always best to think in them terms as well particularly if you want to advance your drawings Let's move the drawing down as uh, I guess the the camera's focused on just a certain area. I like them. I think I just call them spider legs, but they they look quite cool the way I've positioned them on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I think if I would have added more like them spider legs. It would have looked a bit too busy on the drawing unless i'd planned for that you know it might have worked but yes it is best to plan some drawings sometimes but this was one of them rare drawings which i just i didn't really plan i just started sketching and it just turned out and um, that's usually what happens sometimes or sometimes I might need to get inspired by something just to draw uh, something I did look up a couple of images um, of mutant snake men <laughs> creatures I found a few images um, I think that's what the the lobster sort of claw uh, came from one of the images I found online um, but the the way the the actual creatures draw and it's uh, that's totally original because I just like made it up in my head really and just went with it and I'm, now I'm starting to like add details cross hatching which hopefully will just bring it all together now as usually in the drawing it always does oh, these ink, ink pens are fairly cheap um, they're that cheap they haven't even got like a, a brand name as I keep saying I think I repeat the same things in these videos I need to I think that's what's stopping me yeah making more videos sometimes I just think I've got nothing new to say <laughs> um, but 
hopefully you find it useful um, I'm, I'm trying to do more videos and uh, I'll be doing more videos on Instagram uh, IGTV I'm going to try and do some more videos there um, I'm looking at trying to stream on Twitch I don't know if it'll work out but there's, there's always, it's always a possibility um, the way YouTube is at the moment it's becoming a bit more strict well, with all the um, FTC uh, new rules and things like that um, uh, a couple of my videos uh, could be deemed um, for kids according to the FTC you know the things that I draw but a lot of them <laughs> I don't think these are for kids these creatures that I draw and horror stuff so but I think the the way YouTube's going at the moment, I don't think it's um, I don't know that it seems like they're shooting themselves in the in the foot sort of thing. At first they're saying like you know they they don't want adult content, and now they're saying like uh, for kids stuff is I don't know not for kids, and then I don't know what's going on with the site really to be honest. Uh, they haven't made it clear uh, with the rules regarding that so. Um, I've just listed my site as not for kids, which it isn't really, because it's I'm drawing horror stuff, um, and that's what I like to draw, and I think that's what I'm known for drawing. Um, even back in the day, I mean, I've drawn a couple of things like um, I can't remember off the top of my head, probably kids stuff, uh, some logos for X Men and stuff, but even that's like a grey area because there's a lot of adults who you know watch cartoons read comics and you know stuff so it's is it really for kids uh, I don't know <laughs> anyway I don't want to go off on a tangent because I could talk all night on that um, let's get back to the drawing <laughs> as you can see I'm I'm just adding way more details I find it more more relaxing when you add way more details and just just get carried away with a piece and the drawing just seems to come together and, and it's something that I'm happy with when I'm you know adding like loads of detail and yeah it looks cool I like them arms the inking style it it does someone said before on some of my drawings they look sort of like Jim Lee-esque I'd, I'd say yeah it does the way with the, the thick and the thin lines and and stuff that I do. Um, I couldn't draw half of the stuff he draws though. I mean he's been drawing stuff for years. I need to work on a few things to get to his sort of level but um, I do like to draw a lot of creatures all the time though so that's I usually get bogged down with drawing too many creatures and not enough uh, actual human characters which I need to figure out how to draw. Particularly women I need to need to draw try and draw them a bit more but I'll get there I mean I've been drawing this for quite a while I'm perfecting the art of demons creatures zombies skulls just skulls in particular you know on this channel I've drawn way too many skulls so yeah when you're you're inking you're just like looking at uh, all the darker areas and when you're cross hatching um, you just want to try and get them hit them dark areas but try and make it more uh, lighter in some areas so you can so you can just add way more detail and just listen to me ramble on <laughs> and if you knew me in real life uh, this 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 is the this is the most you'll probably hear, hear me talking <laughs> so um, yeah, there's that. So like the darker areas on these drawings are like under the arms and um, all the noticeable areas like the mouth on that demon. Um, it's like a demon anyway, I might as well say it's a demon. A demon mutant snake man thing, creature. Under the eyes, make the eyes stand out a bit more so it's a bit dark under there. and. Just wherever you think um, areas need to stand out, uh, like the head, 
you know, like uh, I always make a point of the centerpiece of the head just to be lighter, just so, I don't know, it's like the lightest point on the head sometimes, if like light's hitting it or something like that and it just shows the shape of the head. And I always like darken around the teeth as well just to separate them. I really like the Incan, Incan creatures and stuff and adding loads of details and I don't know, it's just like really organic sort of way of uh, laying the ink down with ink pens. I'm going to get into like uh, inking with brushes and things like that but I just have to try and look after my brushes a bit more because some of them are I just destroy with ink. But I've seen other other artists do like brushing quirk and it's just uh, it's fantastic the way they they quickly lay lay in um sort of like especially like cross hatching with brushes and I, I'm thinking Jesus I wanted to do that and but I th I suppose it's just getting away with oh, that, it jumped again there. I think that was um. Because sometimes, like when I'm filming this, like the the camera when I when I switch it on, it just stops. Something wrong with the camera or the memory card, I don't know. And it just looks like it jumped. Anyway, yeah, the <clears throat> just figuring out ink pens. I know Windsor and Newton uh, do great uh, brush brushes, um, but you, I think any brush you've just got to look after the brushes and the bristles and. Um, good brush care and then they'll probably ink quite well um, yeah I'd like to do a, a, a video on that maybe get some more brushes and just see how I can ink with actual paint brushes that'd be quite quite interesting video almost like er experimental really but <laughs> I'd like to have a go there's like there's a lot of different things I'd like to do I've got a uh, a video that I'm sort of editing, I've been editing for a while, it's like advanced inking techniques, um, a really good video but I've just got a, it's a real long video as well and I've got to edit some captions in it to separate it up and I've got to break it up and uh, I don't know, I've got to do a bit of editing so I think I've been putting, up, putting that off for a bit so, but that'll be a real good video. And there's some brush inking in that as well and inking with cocktail sticks as well <laughs> it's surprisingly quite good as well um, they, they create like fine lines and um, yeah so hopefully I'll be able to get that video up uh, for the new year possibly and several other videos uh, where I'm drawing more creatures uh, Dungeons and Dragons stuff which um, uh, working on as well as as well as a, a few commissions as well which are coming up um yeah so I'm getting busy drawing creatures more mutants i reckon i just like to draw something real crazy as well crazy mutant puffer fish yeah. i don't know just thought I'd let us know. Don't know. Just draw crazy stuff. You can see, like a lot of my inking technique is real scribbly, because um, often that's that's just what you need, really. Sometimes um, you can spend more time with it if you know it's a serious drawing, um, and this would be a serious drawing as well, uh, particularly if I got rid of the pencil lines and coloured it. You know this drawing. Um, and there is some drawings I would take my time with, but um, sometimes inking real sketchy, it, it just works for the textures, particularly like the the skin and flesh of this snake. Uh, it's like mutant-like anyway, so there's going to be like um, imperfections in the skin, like wrinkles and I don't know, lots of 
I don't know what you call it. Uh, uh, it might be mold or moldy flesh. Uh, A lot of the times when you're drawing these drawings and you've got like a hand over the body there, um, it's a good idea to separate um, that from the underneath, like there's the body of the snake there. Um, so I do like loads of shading in the back there just to try and separate it. And um, I probably should have done a bit more with that. Um, underneath the hand, um, in between the thumb and the main finger I would have done like a dark line but it always is best to think about uh, breaking up certain elements within your drawing just to make sure it it has sense in the way it all connects to each other um, but it's also separated so it doesn't all just join together um, which is a bit of a challenge when you're doing these drawings but a fun challenge when you you're seeing that it works and it all comes together. I quite like my scribbly technique for inking. It's just like a bit haphazard and a bit um, a bit sketchy, but it works. Um, works for me anyway. I don't know what your inking technique could be like. It might be more neater, so. This is just the way I, uh, I like to wink. And plus when I think I, when I'm drawing on any of these videos, I just think I'm against the clock. <laughs> Even though I'm not, I can edit things. But if I'm drawing in real time, I'd like to keep it real time. But then I don't want to take quite a while. Cause I have to like talk over these videos and... You know, half of what I say is just trying to fill the void, you know, with uh, speech. So, yeah. Hopefully you've gained something from this video and future videos. Um, I still probably haven't found a way of working that, that suits me to do these type of videos. Um, but I'd say adding... If the audio of me talking over at the end um, helps me in my mind when I'm drawing the drawing because I, I don't have that worry of trying to talk while I'm drawing. Um, so I'll definitely do that in the future. Um, I think at the yeah, that's it's the best way to go with these drawings. And also, like I said before, um, drawing. Things from different angles will be quite useful. Um, you know, have some kind of variety of ways to draw uh, one sort of idea and draw it different ways uh, before I actually do the final drawing. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a mental note of doing that because I think that'll be the best way forward for these videos. So I'm coming to the end of this video and trying to add a few more details to the the Mike Spider leg things. Um, almost think about um, don't don't like um, antenna or something, but you know I don't know. Or like little grabber things on the shoulders. Um, I think in my mind's eye I was going to do like wings, but yeah, I just decided against that. I always like to draw spider legs. Yeah, just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so, at the end of this video I'll link to some uh, playlists again like I always do and um, yeah, I'll just check out some more playlists. Um, I'm trying to expand the playlist like I said in my last video and just trying to do more uh, drawing different types of things so yeah just check them out and I'll see you in the next video. 
Cheers now.